Hey guys, and welcome back to Lift More Monday. I'm Coach Justin Moore, this is Coach Cody Plopker. We're gonna be talking today about kind of a, a new variation of a breathing activity or a reset activity, uh, partially that I took from Bill Hartman at iFast. He did it standing against the wall. Uh, we're gonna perform it in supine hook line to kind of make it a more manageable and safe position where we can get a lot of feedback and stability from the floor. And we're gonna use this position and this activity to inhibit the lats get some good anterior core activity, and also inhibit the triceps. So this is gonna be a little bit more specific to the front rack and the front squat position that we're trying to develop. Um, but in this case, we're inhibiting the lats by getting a good reach and activating some serratus and anterior core while we move that scapula into protraction and upward rotation. At the same time, we're gonna have our elbow flexed, which means that we're going to lengthen the tricep and inhibit the tricep from both ends. Because we know that the tricep extends the elbow, it also retracts the shoulder blade. So as we protract and upwardly rotate, we're also going to flex the elbow, which is going to mimic a little bit more of the position that we're going to have when we front squat. And then we're going to get some good breaths there, using that serratus, using a low trap, and using abs to inhibit those muscles we're trying to turn off. And that's going to help us develop the motor control to turn those muscles off and facilitate the other ones with good respiration that will eventually transfer over to our front squat. So Cody's going to start a supine hook line. He's going to pull a ball between his knees. That's going to activate our adductors, and we're going to be able to get some good posterior tilt to the pelvis and kind of open up the pelvic outlet doing that. He's going to have both feet flat on a pad about two to three inches high. He's going to keep those feet flat, and he's going to tuck his tailbone so his tail comes off the floor. His back is going to be nice and flat. He's going to feel the back of his hamstring, I mean his hamstrings turn on as he's digging those feet in. And then what I'm gonna have him do is he's gonna exhale, and as he exhales, he's going to bend those arms with his hands touching the floor. So as he does this, he can turn his hands over the top a little bit to start. So as he does that, we're going to try to bring those elbows together and exhale and drive the elbows forward and up. So he's blowing out, bringing ribs down, feeling that back flat the floor with a full exhale. He's gonna pause for four seconds. He's gonna inhale with those abs still on and he's gonna to try to expand that upper back. As he exhales and reaches elbows a little bit more forward, we're getting good serratus activity from moving that shoulder blade, we're getting good abs to oppose our lats, and we're getting good elbow flexion with protraction and upward rotation to turn off the triceps. The respiration that we're using in that breathing pattern is telling our brain and our nervous system that this position is okay, and that we have a new motor control strategy we can use to turn off those muscles that would normally be dominant in a lot of people. If we want to have a good front rack position, we need to be able to inhibit those triceps and we need to be able to hit, inhibit those lats or we're going to get pulled into extension when we try to go into shoulder flexion. So he's going to do about four to five breaths there. And he's going to make sure he gets a full exhale, bringing those ribs down as he reaches those elbows up. And he's going to try to keep them from turning out to the side and just relax. So we can use that. That's a very difficult progression because we're trying to keep our fingers on the ground as we reach those elbows forward, and that's going to be really challenging for a lot of people. They're going to have trouble getting those lats to turn off, and they're going to have trouble getting their triceps to turn off. So if they're struggling there, we can just have him do the same thing, but now instead of reaching for the floor, he's now just going to drive his elbow straight up with that uh, elbow flexed. So he's going to exhale. Good. He can even turn his wrists a little bit to get a little bit of inhibition there and really approximate that position. And he's going to reach further as he exhales. He's going to keep those abs on. As he inhales, he's going to try to expand air into his posterior mediastinum or the back of that rib cage to turn off those lats. This is a great way to start working in these activities and gain control of this position in a low level spot where we can have a lot of stability from the floor and a lot of feedback. And then we'll move through the developmental sequence to eventually where we can apply this concept to our rack position in the front squat. And that's Lift More Monday. We'll see you guys next week.